What's going on everybody, it's Zach Michael here, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to make a chord progression. Now a lot of producers when they're up and coming kind of overthink chords, overcomplicate them, make this very difficult thing, and there's a lot of techniques and tricks you can use to build chord progressions. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now the first thing you have to know about a chord progression is what key you want to make it in. Now if you're an upcoming producer, my advice, stick with the C major or A minor scale. If you look C major is all the white keys on a piano. Now, if you look, A minor is all the white keys on a piano. So, if you start with that as the bass, then we can retranspose our chord progression into a different key, into a different scale. And this is just a simple technique that works. So, the first thing we're going to go over in chord progressions is a triad. This is like your basic chord. So, like a simple triad is this C E G. Now, if you look in C major, which is going to be the progression we use, the way you build a triad is you pick a bass note or root note. So we're going to do C, then you'd skip a note in the scale, and then the next one, right? So now you have the first two notes of the triad. Then you skip a note in that one. Now you have a triad. Now a triad doesn't only have to start at C though. So I can make the next one be D. F and A. Now I have two triads. Well, I can do something like that. So that's the basics. But let's go ahead and expand a little beyond that. So in addition to that, you can then add. So this is the first, the third, the fifth. But I can add a seventh, which is a fourth note where I'm skipping one, putting it up. The same could be done here. Now I have sevenths. And that just builds out a chord a little more. Now there's also a ninth, and technically if you want to even go beyond further, there's a lot more music theory that is possible. But for full sound and chord progressions, you don't even necessarily need to go that far. So, that's that. Now here is going to be us building that full chord progression sound that's going to be exactly what we're looking for. The first thing I like to do is find what I want my root notes to be. So I'm going to start on E. Just because I don't want to start in C, I want to change it up. And we're going to go to A, F, and D. That'll be what we do. So now we're going to build triads on this. Let's just go ahead and make our scale a little bit bigger so you can visually see me skipping notes. Now I know some of this is going to be a little high, but you'll see how I make this sound much better. So that's going to be our chord progression right here. So the first thing I want to do to make it sound more full, pitch the root notes down an octave. Now, could I pick different notes in the chord to pitch down an octave? Yes. But for it to sound good all the time, my advice, start with these notes here and then just experiment and deviate. But if you're an upcoming beginning producer or musician, start with those selected red notes and pitch those down an octave. Now, the next thing I can do is pitch other stuff down the octave. Like, for instance, this E note here maybe is a little high pitched. So I'm going to pitch that down an octave too. Just like that. Now, let's go ahead and make this a more complex progression. When I make chord progressions, a lot of times they're either four bars or eight bars. And also, you don't need to have a chord hitting on the one, the two, the three, the four. If I wanted to remove this chord, and make it just like this, that would work. Actually, I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. But I wanna do some slight change to the end of this progression. So what I'm gonna end up doing is changing this F to a D6. So there'll be a three octave D in here on the final chord and it's just a way to make it resolve a little differently it's a big thing when you make chord progressions or melodies you want them to resolve which means at the end of the pattern it changes it just is a way to know that this is ending and it's going to start again or something new is going to come that can really help make something sound more dynamic more interesting to a listener but right here is how to make a beginning chord progression if you got any questions feel free to leave them in the comments but that's some of the basics there's obviously a lot more advanced stuff which you'll see in videos of mine in the past and to come but this is how i make my chord progressions so thanks so much for watching
Head on over to elizabethrecords.net if you'd like to support me. You can purchase VST expansion banks, drum kits, loop kits, and mini kits that'll level up your production there.